to keep our sort of mug industry theme going, which we often like to do, we will pay the iron mug price. We will only trade iron mugs in it to dwarves in exchange for stuff. So we'll take stuff from the humans and the elves, we'll trade iron mugs to the dwarves. I will try to make them the best possible iron mugs possible. Maybe we'll encrust them with gems or something like that. We'll see how it goes. And yes, there is uh, the, the link for the YouTube video has been kicked around. Uh, it's probably in the command. Is it in the what game? There you go. You can watch the uh, YouTube intro in there. But I knew a lot of people wouldn't, and obviously you can't watch the YouTube thing while watching the stream. I'm going to get rid of this. It's getting my way. Um, so, there we go. That's our situation right over there. Boom. So, uh, one other thing I covered in the video is the fact that I used in DF Hack here. There's a tool called Prospect that will give you a list of all the materials because I want to make sure I embarked already. Hey, uh, LOL, nutshot. Thanks for the sub, the resub. Uh, what I want to make sure is that I actually embarked some more with that hide iron because otherwise it'd be a pretty stupid sort of theme if we didn't have it. And we do. It starts at around Z level uh, 111. We've got magnetite, limonite, and hematite. Um, we've got actually a lot of materials because I did uh, create a world with uh, that was very mineral rich. So that's that's good stuff. So what we can do is we can start. The other thing I did on the uh, the video is I started carving out our initial areas over here, uh, which is a different kind of design than we've often done. This is on Z level 111. You can actually see that in the bottom right corner over here. So somewhere on this level, there should be the start of our iron bearing ores. And that's why I got an extra couple of tunnels there to just see what we can find along the way. So we're going to do that. Uh, the other thing we don't have in this is a sort of defensive setup. But that's okay. We'll build walls on the surface and that's going to be fine. We have a brook here. Brooks are great because you can walk across without drowning. You don't have to worry about bridges or anything. Alex Steiner, thank you very much for the one year twitch anniversary. Um, and we'll be able to fish this as well. So I think I'm going to start by unpausing. Uh, oh, we, we should introduce our dwarves, which actually means I need to have Dwarf Therapist open. Where is Dwarf Therapist? Right over here. Boop -a -boop -a -boop. So our dwarves are BLC303, who is our sort of metal worker. Hey, Nep. Thank you very much for the resub. We've got Selimin, who is our cook and gem setter. We've got Gorash, who is our carpenter and brewer. We've got Maelstrom Pandish, who is our stonemason. We've got Suntan Man, who is our doctor. Not a very good one, but he's a doctor. Stratos, thanks for the resub. Tigers and Red Sox, who's actually going to be our hunter, and Zervian here, who has um, no skills listed there, but under military. Zervian is actually a pretty good armor user and is going to be another military dwarf for us, and I think early on we'll probably end up doing a fair amount of just mining and whatnot. In terms of things I've brought, I did not bring any seeds. We did bring some extra food, um, and yeah, so that will be that. So I think we're just going to unpause. Yeah, so again, I, I did sort of designate an initial little thing to start going. So people will start mining. Uh, and we've got trees set to be chopped. We've got six idlers set. Oh, probably because the jobs aren't actually set. But I think for convenience, what I'm going to do is use auto labor. There we go. So we got that. Do we need auto seed, auto butcher, anything like that? I don't think so. Uh, did I set up? No, I didn't set up a... Um, a pasture because we do and this has actually quite worked out quite well we have male and female yaks that's what was hauling our, our wagon which means we actually could get them to breed which is boom excellent so i'm just going to make a pen over here and i'm just going to assign both animals over there so that they don't starve to death all right let me know how the sound effects are pharynx yes i fixed the broken symmetry um uh, Interrupted by combat. What combat? Oh, a stork! Okay, that's okay, Brett, that you're doing that. Um, and I forgot to set a zooming hotkey, F2, zoom to here. Yeah, the broken symmetry. So th this this was only one wide, but it was always intended to be three wide, because otherwise you get a bit of a bottleneck and it's no good. Deadmate, thanks for the resub! Andre, new subscriber! Woohoo! Well, that's true, we can milk those animals! For some cheese, that's actually really handy. Sound effects are coming from SoundSense over here. SoundSense is one of the little pack of things that you can get with Door Fortress, and they'll play various sound effects as things happen. They've got this achievement system there too, which is kind of neat, actually. I quite like that. So that's where some of these little sounds are coming from. Uh, we're not paused or anything like that. We've got the hunting going on. How's the hunting? 
Why are you, like, running away? You're doing fine, buddy. Tigers and Red Sox is complaining about something. I don't know why. Cherokee guy! Thanks for the host! And Wolveron! Hey! Who was there in the chat earlier asking some questions? Thanks for the sub. <laughs> is it possible to create categories or groups that dwarves can be sorted by? Um, yes and no. One of the things you can do with dwarves is you can give them a you can give them a profession title, and that's just whatever you can you can give them literally any name you want for their profession tag, um, and you can sort in a dwarf therapist based on those profession names. Um, profession, there you go. So actually, these are all profession names I put in. Uh, Murder Chuck, thank you very much for the uh, the, the sub, a resub, in fact. So, we can do this, and we can use that to sort of sort and organize our people in the future. So yeah, carpenter slash brewer, cook, jeweler, doctor, hunter, mason, miner slash leader, and smith. Oh yeah, and that's... We can look at that. Zervian is our expedition leader, as well as our manager and broker. Would you kindly? Thanks for the resub. Uh, and Suntan Man is our doctor and also our bookkeeper. Bookkeeping will keep the doctor mostly busy when he's not having to do any doctoring. <laughs> Use bees and make mead. That's true. You'll not be sowing anything and it would be bakingly, just like the Greyjoys. Interesting, yeah, that's a good point. So yeah, we're not going to not allow any sort of food activity. We're just not going to farm, which is already going to make it pretty freaking hard. Um, so yeah, I, I do like the idea of the beekeeping. Um, I don't know if I'll set up like an egg industry. I mean, maybe the, the egg industry doesn't feel quite as quite as cool, but we might, especially as it grows. We won't. We're not going to prioritize it early, uh, and plus, we don't have any birds right now. But you know, if we steal some from humans and, and elves and stuff like that, then you know, we'll do what we can do. Uh, M I C D K. Thank you very much for the one year Twitch anniversary, Mr. Derpy. Uh, that's a great idea. Queen, make it so. What was the suggestion? Oh, the fighting pit. Make elves fight to the death. Uh, I don't know how you make the elves fight each other. But fighting pits are definitely a possibility. So what's this uh, What's this pink stuff? We've got Kaolinite, which I don't think is a particularly useful... No. Kaolinite is not an iron-bearing ore. We've got limestone over here. Uh, this is... All right, more limestone. We do have some uh, butim butuminous coal. Butuminous coal over here. Which is great because it's a lot more efficient to smelt metal using... Um, like coal as opposed to charcoal. Charcoal just needs a lot more work. Elf plus goblin equals fighting pit. Oh, now that's an idea. Yeah. Okay, cool. Kellenite is porcelain. Huh. I believe the Greyjoys did have some livestock, such as cows, pigs, and hens, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the question is whether the Greyjoys themselves did that, or, you know, again, if it was their sort of like slave laborer class uh, that did it. It may or may not have been. Um, I mean, we certainly saw them riding horses and all that. You don't just like. You don't just sustain your, like, you know, good horses by simply, like, stealing them and putting them on boats and ferrying them over. No, they must breed horses and do all those things, so we'll do that. Plus, it would be nice, actually, to have a leather industry. That would actually be quite handy. Taki with the resub! Hey, Taki! How's it going? You're probably going to be around for the, uh, the Heroes of the Storm, right? Today? Yeah. Da, da, da. You have to subscribe to see the stream after it's over. No, no, no. All the VODs are available to everyone on Twitch. In addition to that, um, I upload an edited version of this to the Yub Tubs uh, without, you know, the, the side borders and stuff like that. Um, and chopped into, like, more digestible 30-ish minute chunks or something like that. So, nah. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't get much for the subscription. You get, you know, you get included your names and games and whatever. But I don't like to, like, gate content. You can make a zoo filled with elves and cages. Now, that's quite cool. I want to create a profession titled Slave. You excess migrants can fill the role. And that's a definite possibility. You need to be able to breed moles. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. ruin. Thank you very much for the resub. Yes, yeah, so you can get people to join the fort through the tavern system. And that's something we haven't played with yet. Taverns is one of the new things in uh, 0.42 that we haven't seen yet. Million Man! 27 months! Thank you very much. Uh, careful with the honey industry. You're going to end up with werebees. Oh god, that would be terrible. <laughs> so, 
soons out, poons out. Thank you very much for the sub. Uh, oh yeah, the emotes are worth the subscription. That's true. The emotes are like 10 out of 10. And yes, someone suggested that I make a, uh, a mug emote. Um, and actually, that's why the stream started 10 seconds late, because I had to write it down on my little sticky pad, my little sticky paper, and put it on the side of my monitor. We're going to make an emote for mugs. I think that's an excellent, excellent idea. Uh, use yetis as slaves. Oh my god, if we had more yetis. But it's not that kind of embark. It is um, neutral wild wildness, neutral um, um, alignment as well. Neither good nor evil, and not, not too extreme either, because we're going to have enough challenges as is. Although if I put more wildness, we probably would have had more things to hunt. And who was that? Where's the tip thing? That one marine! Hey! Hello, that one marine. Someone else who's been around for a long time. Says, I can't donate like I used to, but here's something to show my love and adoration. We are ironborn. We do not plow the field or toil in the mine. We take what is ours. Well, obviously we're going to toil in the mine, because we are dwarves. But other than that, you're absolutely spot on. Thanks, that one marine. Appreciate it. And Malkuth, thank you very much for the resub. Mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so for those of you who are new... Right, all the brown stuff is is bits I've indicated that my dwarves need to mine out. We're gonna cut out some rooms. These X's are up and down stairs. Uh, the yellow squares are the ones that dwarf is going to to start mining. I can also embiggen this a bit, which might be good. Zero temps. Thank you very much for the sub. Um, and yeah, right now we're just clearing out space. M mining stone is you know relatively slow work, um, so we are using up a lot of time to do this. Um, but it's something we need to do. Hey, J Strong, thank you very much for the sub. J Strong, maybe. Um, we need to do this because, A, we need to get some rocks to do stuff with. We also want to find actual metal that we can smelt, and we just need the space. We're dwarves. We live underground. That's the way it works. On the surface, we've chopped some trees, which is great. We do have four idlers right now, because I think all the tree chopping has been finished. Um, and it's probably going to continue to be the case. Um, although what I could do is I could just get a stockpile set up down here, just temporarily. This is not going to be my final stockpile, but it'll give some of my dwarves a little thing to do. So we'll make a wood stockpile there, uh, a furniture stockpile here, a food stockpile for the rest of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stockpile away later on and organize it properly. But it'll give something for my idlers to take care of. Uh, Cecilcon, thank you very much for the sub. And, um, and uh, also it gets like the food and stuff underground so that, you know, animals don't come by and steal it or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Are you allowed to build things out of the materials for your fort besides iron? Yes, absolutely. Our, our rules are going to be, we don't farm, we only sell iron mugs, and only to dwarves. Humans and elves, we just take all their stuff. That Those are our core rules there. Of course, we'll try to add more for theme stuff, but yeah, yeah. We can make stuff for ourselves out of other material. I believe this map has gold, so we'll make, like, gold statues and stuff. But we won't pay the gold price. We'll make things out of gold, but we won't pay the gold price. That would be just wrong. You're going to be mugging them. Oh, 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 cool snap. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Da, da, da. Okay, we've got, this is going to be workshop area. So what I'm going to have is I'm going to have four storage areas here and then workshops next to them. And I'm going to try to um, coordinate the workshops with what, um, what the storage is to be a little bit more organized. Oh, already some people are having a little bit of sleep. So we got some food. We don't have um, we don't have our uh, our stockbroker or bookkeeper actually organized in the table yet. But we've got about a hundred drink, and we've got not that much food, honestly. We've got some. This is these are inaccurate counts because we don't actually have an office for a bookkeeper yet. Um, we have some food, some booze, but yeah, we're gonna have to get that going asap. Edit the files and use the elves as slaves. That's interesting. Turn the gold into weapons and armor. Gold is so bad for weapons and armor. Gold is way too soft. Silver is very good for... Well, I guess I guess gold is probably okay for bludgeoning weapons. Because it is quite dense. So, I mean, I classically make, like, silver warhammers and stuff like that. But I suspect gold and warhammers are probably also okay. I think silver is a little harder than gold, though. Also very dense, but a little bit harder. Um, but usually for, like, uh, armor and weapons, like, edged weapons, you want to do... Like, copper is not bad, kind of soft. I think bronze is a little bit better. Um, iron is actually not that good, but steel is very good. So, ideally, I would like to have steel armor and weapons in, in this embark here. And even without digging to magma, usually we're stuck digging to magma. Here, with all the coal around, we should actually be able to get one of these industries up and running pretty well. So, what do we have? Have we found any metal? This is limonite. I believe limonite is an iron-bearing ore. So... 
Let's go and instruct that to be dug out. Excellent. A little vein there. And we'll also need some of this coal. Um, like that. Actually, I'm going to cancel this little thing here. And over here as well. You guys have found some stuff. We'll get back to the exploratory tunnels. We have some materials to start with, which is what I'm looking for. Okay. Let's get some early workshops going on here. So in the top right corner, I'm going to set up uh, sort of our wood industry here. Uh, we're going to get a carpenter's workshop. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to store the logs here as well as furniture. Um, maybe a boyer, boyer's... Boyer's? I don't know. Bowmaker's workshop over here. Make some crossbows for us. Um, and then we could set up a craftsworf workshop over here, but... Yeah, we, because we need one. The Craft Dwarf Workshop is useful for making wooden arrows, bone arrows, and a few other goods. Um, but that's not where we're going to make our mugs. In fact, while you can make mugs there, I think you can only make mugs out of bone, stone, and wood from this one. We are going to be making our mugs from a, uh, a metal workshop. So we'll set up a few of those. That'll be a start. Can't eat trees. Well, that's what you say. <clears throat> um, so, I mean, this tunnel, we're going to have like a three wide, and even over here as well, it's going to be three wide like this. I'm just trying to get out like a little bit of structure, and then plan where we're going to have some bedrooms. We might just make a dorm early on, and that might be a good start. And then we can convert the dorm to uh, Noble's uh, bedrooms later on, because they're going to be quite big. Sticky Pudding, thanks for the sub! So often for my Noble's rooms, I like to do something... Well, this is going to fit very well, actually. Boom, like that. Right? So you end up with this sort of structure for a Noble's room. You have an office, dining room, and then their bedroom. So what I can do is just carve out the 3x5 area here, fill it with some beds, and use it as a dormitory early on. I think that's going to be quite good for us. Awful! Big subscriber, long time, thank you very much for the resub, and homeless guy who never resists to resubscribe. And I can never resist making that pun every single time. Um, the vein mining is on the lower right in the mining option designated shop. Yeah, I actually use the, um, the DF hack um, vein miner just because I'm used to it and there's a hotkey. Basically, if I just put my, my cursor over a mineral and I hit Control v it'll just designate the rest of the, um, the vein. Which is the sort of thing, I mean, you could do it, used to be able to do it manually, right? You dig out a couple of squares, then designate the next couple, and so on and so forth, and God, it's so annoying. They did add an auto uh, tool in, uh, is it this version? Is it was in 0.42 that they added that in? Uh, but I still just use the, the DF hack one because it's so convenient. Just having the hotkey, boom. Please, you're going to kill the stream with puns. I don't think so. I think you guys can tough it out. Do nobles have a personal wine cellar? Not usually, but we could do that. So I'm going to try to build out on this one floor quite a bit. It'd also be quite cool if, like, the, um, the veins we found, if we use that as sort of, like, our structure for something. Like, here we have regular hallways and stuff, but this could just stay as a hallway. And then we have bedrooms that come off of this. That might be kind of a fun way to do things. I think our noble rooms will still be, you know, nicely defined, but maybe all our normal bedrooms will all be off these little mining veins. El Super Beardo! Thank you very much for the resub. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's set up some jobs. We still have some idlers, and we can get them to work. Carpenter's Workshop. So, we want beds. Uh, we need some barrels. We need some bins. Now, bed's the only thing you need to make out of wood. But the others are, are quite handy. Early on, we're going to have access to a lot of wood. There's tons of trees up there. So that's going to be good. I'm going to set up some um, uh, workflow designations for these guys. So that we always have in our storage something like two to four beds sitting around on our stockpile. These are going to be empty barrels. We're going to ask it to... Uh, barrels of wood? Barrels of any material. That's barrels of any material. Yeah, keep like five to ten empty ones. We need quite a bit. And the same thing with the bins. 
of any material, five to 10 of those. So this is just using the workflow tool in DF Hack, and what it does is it will automatically, when you hit your, your upper limit, it'll automatically suspend the job. And whenever you hit you, you, you run low and you go past the lower limit, it'll unsuspend the job. It'll keep producing things on their own, which is really handy. Boyer's Workshop, we're gonna make wooden crossbows. Uh, and we are also going to add a little bit of this, crossbows of any material. Um, just, just keep two to four spare ones. That's going to be sufficient. And then we want wooden bolts. Add a limit. Um, bolts of wood specifically. And I can't remember how this works because I don't know if it's actual bolts. Maybe it is. So we'll say 50 to 100 of those kicking around. Uh, and also bone bolts. And a similar thing. Bolt of bone because we'll also make metal bolts later on, but these are gonna be sufficient for hunting. No problem there. I guess I should make my refuse stockpile right now. A little garbage dump up top for a little while. We'll just keep it close to the stairway at this time, and then we'll probably end up moving it later on. Oh, what we need to do is on the surface, we need to get our butcher's workshop going so that we can actually start to do some hunting. So butcher's workshop uh, at a limestone. Uh, we also need a um, tanner. There we go. So that any leather we butcher up gets turned into, or any hides get turned into leather as opposed to rotting. There we go. So as soon as we got the butcher shop going on, our person who's got the crossbow and the hunting job should start hunting again, these storks. Yeah, we killed one, but we weren't actually hunting, I don't think, not properly. And we certainly didn't keep the meat, which is really unfortunate because we're gonna need more food. Uh, can you play as humans? Not in the um, not in the base game. Yes, I will remember to disassemble the wagon. Thank you very much. Um, in the base game, you can't play as humans. There is um, a masterwork mod that I don't know if it's updated for 0.42, although it's still really excellent in 0.40. Um, that allows you to play as a variety of different races for different reasons. Is this um, tetrahedrite? So that's, I want to say copper and lead? Silver and copper, tetrahedrite. Excellent, okay, good. It's raining outside. More digging. Okay, I'm gonna say that this area over, ah, uh, no, not that's not true. Cause I'm gonna have this be wood and also it's gonna have a furniture stockpile. And down here, I'm gonna have our stonemasons shops. And obviously that will also get stored in the furniture stockpile. So I want those close together. So yeah, we'll have to let the mining go for a little while. This is going to be our bedroom. I will go ahead and pre-place a bed using planning mode and say bed, 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 bed. And door, planning mode, door over there. Not that we have any of those right now. We still have to get them built by the mason. Actually, I guess I could build our stonemason's workshop right now over here. Because then I can start getting our doors made. We do have the bed industry started, and they're actually being produced over here. We actually might... Yeah, we already have a bed. It's now been installed. Excellent. And actually, I'm going to take this first bed and designate a bedroom over here and say, this is a dormitory. Anyone can sleep here. So now they don't have to sleep on the floor anymore. Kitchen to make tasty meals. Yep. Oh, we also need to get our... Um, our fishing industry up and running soon. Do a little bit of that. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, you don't have any bones, so you can't make any of those. That's okay. And then resuming production. But we don't have any. Who that? I says Moo! Hey, thank you very much! Took a day off work today to watch your stream. I'm a really bad employee, but really big Quill fan. I guess these streams also explain where all my money is going. Hooray, DF! The Dwarf Fortress is worth, you know, it's worth making some sacrifices for. I'm not sure that that's the right one, but, you know, maybe. Is here. Oh, summer's here! Excellent! I'm like, why is the game not responding? Because it's summer, and I've got seasonal auto saves turned on, so it's good. Bum, bum. Yes, Mr. Derpy, I've seen your message about adding slave room to nobility room. Um, I don't know if we're going to do that. Bum, bum, bum. Nobles should have beds made from elf hide. Now, that's cool. I don't think we can do that. I think beds just get made out of wood. You can encrust them with gems, but I think that's about it. 
You should build, yeah, the, um, the three towers like the real Greyjoys. So I actually don't know much about the Greyjoys and their towers and stuff like that, but we could do a bit of a building project afterwards, and I do like that. Place a one square wide stockpile for finished goods next to the workshops. Hmm. Uh, there was something else I was about to do when the autosave started, and I can't remember what it was. I don't know, but the Mason's Workshop finished. So, I would like... Oh! I just realized what we have to do. We have to make all of our chairs out of iron. Because in Dwarf Fortress, a, a chair is referred to as a throne. So they would be iron thrones. We're kind of going to need some, some chairs before that, though. Oh, the fishing industry. Thank you. Doors of any material. Yeah, keep five to ten of those around. We need some thrones first. But obviously, we're going to have to make some iron thrones down the road. Scream cheese! Thanks for the resub! Uh, anything else I want to add in here? We can start the cabinet and coffer and whatever construction. Oh, tables is an important one. Thanks for the sub! Melt swords and mash them together then? Well, you can melt down weapons. It just turns into ingots. We could pretend, we could imagine that that's what we made our material from. Uh, yeah, so I think the food industry, I'm putting it like at the bottom left corner or something like that. So we're going to wait for that to be dug out and then we'll set that up. So the uh, butcher shop will automatically get, you know, these butcher dead animal jobs. We don't really have to queue it up. Same thing with the tanning job. They're all automated. So we don't actually have to worry about doing that. Uh, this is probably time for us to go and disassemble the wagon. It just gives you three extra logs. Right now we don't really have the storage set up. Um, so. I'm actually going to make this our primary furniture stockpile. Actually, hold on. I'm going to make it this way. Furniture, and then finished goods, like that. Srichev, thank you very much for the resub! Oh, I just want to see how Quill will try to pronounce my name. <laughs> That's the way I'm going to pronounce it. My apologies, because it's probably way wrong. Uh, Alright, so we need some food industry stuff over here. So, Farmer's Workshop, still, Fishery, yeah. So, let's get, still first, obviously, top priority. Farmer's Workshop, that's really not that important, but we'll get it set up. Um, a kitchen, and then we don't have room for the fishing over here. I think what I'm going to do is just add an extra row here. Oh, that's going to break the... Um, the symmetry with the top part. Also, I didn't really lay out the... Oh! Here's what you can do. Hold on. First of all. Cancel that. Then, cancel the buildings here. So, build. Workshop. Still. Because I can leave one space between them. That's probably what I'll do. Um, since we don't need the farmer's workshop right now, actually. We'll just go fishery. There we are. And then a kitchen, like that. So there's going to be one gap between our workshops. And that'll look better. And we'll do the same thing over here, actually. I'll, I'll leave them for now. But we're going to adjust these workshops later on for some spacing. Make a sea stone chair. I don't know what sea stone would be in this game. So, um, Mechanics Workshop is actually pretty critical because we are going to need some traps. Because we're going to take this one a little bit more seriously. So we're going to do that. 